Hi, this is Shanita, and I just wanted to talk to you today about programs that no longer serve us. Actually, they never did serve us. Forget about no longer. And I will be talking about this off and on, but of course, there are quite a few programs running in our subconscious mind in the background that's not benefiting us in any way. But we've said it for so many times, so long, we don't even realize what we're saying. And I'm going to talk today about what I heard over the weekend a friend of mine saying. She said, every time I put one foot forward, I take two steps back. Something always happens, something always happens to make me take two steps back. And I said, well, you realize you're speaking that into your life. I said, I've been there before and I know how it works. Start connecting the dots. She said, no, 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 it is my reality. Can't you just see it? She was giving me all these examples of how every time she takes one foot forward, she takes two steps back. I couldn't get her to hear me and so I left it alone because I've been there before in the past, in my distant past, when I couldn't get the wisdom of what someone was sharing with me. When you ask your parents, but why do you say every time I take one foot forward, I take two steps back? They say, well, I don't know, my mother said it, my father said it, my aunt said it. And so it goes on and on. But once you become aware of these phrases and programs that don't serve you any longer, you can change it. So what I started doing many years ago, and I graduated, is I'm already accomplishing my goals and living my dreams. That was much better than back foots and forwards. So I said that for a while, let me see a difference in my life. And then I started noticing that, hey, I can say I'm already am living my reality. I'm already living my dreams, and I'm already accomplishing my goals. In fact, I've already done it. Neville Goddard says that a lot, assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. And then the Bible, Mark eleven twenty four 24 says, believe you have received it and it shall come to pass. In other words, you have to believe you already have what it is you want, your goals, the new house, the new car, the better health, the wonderful uh, significant other, the travel first class, whatever it is you want, you have to believe you already have it and it shall come to pass. Now, it's easier said than done, but it's easy actually, because the more you program yourself into believing it and stay in the space of knowingness that you already have it, you have that faith and do not give into appearances of what's happening in the outside world somewhere. As Jesus Christ said, don't give into appearances. So don't give into appearances. Come from the space of I know that I know and that I know I've already had my dreams. I'm already accomplished, I've already accomplished my goals. I already have good health. I already have this magnificent partner in my life and so on and so forth. And once you say it, the more and more you say it, the more will come to pass because there is power in the spoken word. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So once you start connecting this and realize when you change your words and how you're speaking into your life, into your children's lives, into your family, friends, the world, um, like, oh my God, things seem to get worse and worse, worse and worse. So what are we all speaking collectively that things are getting worse? So we need to change that to it's already better, the power of the spoken word. Okay, enough for today. I'll be saying, I'll be talking about these kinds of things in the future. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. And um, remember, you can create from your words. So speak affirmative life enhancing words into your life and you'll watch the magic happen this is shanita there for you i'll see you on the beaches of the world